In this episode of Banished with Red Ketchup's Editor's Choice and Discrepancies DS Mods, we're going to lay down some more city road in the suburb area, and we're going to try to clear up some of our build list, and we're starting right now. Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on everybody, Jibba73, back with the Double E Show, it's Banished Wednesday with Red Ketchup's Editor's Choice and Discrepancies DS Mods. In this episode here, we're, uh, we're going to take care of some of these city roads. We're gonna, uh, we, we, we can see that some of the stone and brick is already laid down, so um, we're going we're gonna to lay down the city roads on the part that are already laid down. Um, uh, again, I'm using the four wide uh, brick center, and uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna plop these in place. Um, so I want to get this part started, even though these take stone, and I'm very limited on stone. Uh, the object here is, is to get them uh, laid so that as stone comes in, they complete the task. Because otherwise, it's just if I'm just waiting for stone to start, uh, it's never gonna happen. Um, so I lay these out. Oh, yeah, I got a trader. But I, I got nobody manning this uh, uh, trade post, so I don't know why. So, got the glass maker. And I'm checking here to see uh, what's ready. I need more glassware. So, And then I decide, too, uh, do I want firewood, charcoal, or coal? So I take a quick look at my resources. I look at charcoal and coal. And I've got 26 coal and a ton of charcoal. But I really want to make it out of coal. So, um, yeah. I go ahead and set it to coal. And we'll buy in coal as we need it to. So that first, that first glass maker is ready to go. My sand pits were completed, which is great. I'll plop a couple people in here. And uh, we'll get more sand coming in so we can uh, uh, keep ahead of the glass production. Because not only am I using the glassware for the perfumery, um, which is struggling because of the flower uh, output. Um, but uh, I can sell that glassware uh, at the traders and get out some of the fertilizer and fodder thatch that I need for other things. Um, the uh, stockpile was ready, so I threw some coverings on there. I don't know. I think I missed a spot. I'm going to have to go back and check that. Um, yeah, so I also take a quick look here, too. So... Um, I got these ready to go. Plop, 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 and plop. I think I take a look at the uh, the housing here too, because uh, we were more houses than families, and now we're going to. Uh, yeah, I, I decide not to lay any down because I forgot where I left off when I went to go check the trader. Uh, let's up the builders. Uh, get things going a little faster here. Uh, my Forester's Lodge is complete. This is over here by the farming area near the island. Uh, plop some Foresters in there. I'm going to lay down some stone road from the roads toolbar. So, uh, we do this. We uh, Oh, yeah. First things first. Let's collect all the stone and iron out of there. So that way the Foresters don't have to. And since I have 65 laborers, I should be able to take care of this in relatively quick fashion just depends on whether or not I have the stockpiles handy to do it but I want to make sure that that's relatively empty so now I'm gonna lay down the stone road so there's the, there's the foresters lodge I find a logical path which is right through there so here's the roads toolbar and I'm gonna use the medium stone road and I'm gonna bring it up to there and I'm gonna diagonal it I'm gonna try to find a more direct path like so there, there, oh, there, that one, there we go, okay, cool, and, uh, yeah, we'll get a road out in front, and I'll connect them afterwards, and then I want to throw in a house, so I'm just going to put a basic stone, stone house, you know, why not, I like the one with the tower on it, so it kind of fits the, uh, the theme out there, with the tower for the, uh, Forester Lodge, now, I don't pause that building, because I have a feeling that even though I, I was previously more homes than, uh, then people, um, I think I've caught up. I'm also going to put fences, or not fences, gates. I'm going to put gates on the ends of these uh, 
stone walls, these brick walls, um, so that they don't have big open gaps. And uh, yeah, I, I have difficulty seeing whether they're closed or not. Um, because <laughs> Mars, they'd be no good. But yeah, I want to make sure all the gates are closed. And I'm plopping them in. Uh, it just gives it a finished look. And, uh, and again, too, I want to make sure that I have the grass running right out to the road. So I'll double check that here in a second. And I do have the wrong grass in there. So I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to put the right grass in there. Put the right grass in there. And I'm going to fix that grass right there. Right on. And then... Uh, yeah, put some grass in there. Go back to the fences. I'll throw in another gate. Hello, gate. Hello, gate. All right. And that one needs a gate and grass. So there's the gate there. And there's the gate there. Now, I'm going to come back into the grass. And you're getting the right grass. And you're getting new grass. All right, this trader here has ale and strong beer, and I thought I dismissed him, but uh, I did not. All right. So now let's look at the downtown area here. We're coming off into the suburbs. It's looking pretty sharp. Get rid of a couple of these planters. I laid the planters down, and I tried to lay trees inside them, but uh, they just don't line up. Um, that really, really annoys me when they don't line up. The only ones that tend to line up with the uh, the planters are the birch trees and some of the maples occasionally. So I just get rid of a bunch of them. I don't need planters around everyone. Ah, uh, see that big pine tree there, that evergreen or whatever it is. That yeah, that one doesn't line up. That that uh, yeah, those did. So that works out good. Right on. Okay, and this one over here doesn't have any trees at all. I'm gonna throw a couple of trees down. And I'm going to plop in a planter or two, and you watch. Uh, I think only one actually. Uh, I think only one actually uh, lines up. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I'm going to put that down there and that one down there. I don't think they line up. We'll, we'll see as soon as they plant the trees. Yeah, see, that's not lining up. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Right on. There we go. Now I'm going to have two trees pop up there because I already planted a tree, so it is what it is. I'm going to unpause that house because you saw where we have the uh, the availability now, right? I got uh, 230 and 223, so I'm going to unpause uh, both levels of home here. Now the glass maker is open. This is the one right next to the sand pit, so this should be really efficient. And uh, we're going to have them making glassware with the coal. And, uh, yeah... I only have the one place producing coal, and since I only have that one place producing coal, I'm going to need to put in another place that produces coal. So we're going to look at the mine here. Now this is still off of the the island area, so it is what it is, but um, I, I, I got to make sure that I flesh out both areas, both the new downtown and the existing older area. Now, this trader came in, he's got iron, which I have plenty of, so I don't need to buy from him. I do have a lot of noble armor in there, though, which is pretty cool. And I uh, just dismissed him finally. Nobody in there. It's looking really sharp in this area, but I will say this. The map is starting to get very, very laggy. Now, I'm going to try to figure out soon uh, how to finish off this key area. Now, I'm using the red ketchup keys to, to uh, cover off that square, but I'm going to need to key off the front area, and I'm going to have to go back to discrepancies for that. I'm going to have to see if I can do that with already laid road, because uh, the road is laid right to the edge of the landmass. Yeah, there you go. So, everything's adjusted there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and buy the coal, because I only have 82 coal. And uh, I'm going to buy as much of it as I can. So 890 is the max that I can get. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't work out to an even trade. So 888, I'm going to take two out. Right? One out, excuse me. And I'm going to trade. And I don't dismiss them. What I meant to do was to leave the trader open so I could go back to him. Luckily, as you'll see later on, he's still there. Um... 
But that has a lot to do with the fact that I keep it paused way too long on a lot of things. So here I was just checking to see what uses coal. And, uh, yeah. But everything's looking pretty sharp. Everything's rolling out good. I still got homes to put in here but and the walls to put up. But uh, I have not done that yet. Right on. Okay, yeah, I did close out my town hall. It happens. Okay. So, let's go. What are we looking at here? All right. Yeah, we were looking at the lumber. I want to keep them producing lumber because I need it for a lot of different buildings. The well is finished. We'll go ahead and throw somebody in there. I got another well that's being worked on as well. Housing, 229, 225. So we still got room for four homes. Um, that home is unpaused. So that'll build. And I still got the two building in the downtown area. Um, things are looking pretty sharp overall. I, I unpaused this one as well. Um, just to complete this square. Uh, I hate having the unfinished squares. And then I've got one more city block that I have to do. And, um, yeah. So I know, and, and I look to lay down more, but the problem is, is that even if you've already laid it, it shows that you can lay it over top. So you could have multiple layers of city road because it's just a decorative piece. And that's, um... And that's what's making my uh, my system slow down as well, is that uh, they're just decoration pieces, and decoration pieces uh, cause tremendous amounts of lag. So before we even finish this area and get to the farming area on this side, yeah. So I'm going to take out some stuff in, in this trade post. I think I'm going to... I'm going to remove, uh, yeah, I'm going to bump this down to 500. Um, yeah, I'm going to look and see what I have for inventory on fertilizer. Uh, fertilizer, yeah, I got 1600, but I need that fertilizer for a lot of things. I'll leave the logs in there. I got the perfume in there. And that's good. That's, that's pretty much all I need to get some food trading going. Um, but currently I'm sitting at 13 and, and uh, almost a half thousand food. So I don't need to buy any food at the moment. Uh, I, there we go. Unpause it, buddy. Right on. Okay, 232, 225. Very good. I decided to come out here. And let's see. Yeah. I unpause a couple of buildings here. I got the second story for that. Uh, looks like I can unpause it, and I do. So a lot of it is... Uh, uh, from this point is going to be kind of just watching watching stuff build watching the people walk around watching the people operate I got the fodder farmer the florist and the tunnel the tunnels being built the fodder farmer and the florist are paused because they're on the other side of the hill that the tunnel goes through and once the tunnel is complete then I'll build the fodder farmer and the florist but we're getting other ones cleared out yeah, I decided I was going to reopen the apothecary, but there's so much resource required to build the healing potions that, uh, and they may be uber effective, but uh, really it's just, it's too much. And I have 383 healing potions already. I should actually put them up for trade because I don't need that much. And I'm sitting on over 1,266 medicine um, that I could definitely trade away those healing potions. And I should. Uh, in fact, I might make a note of that as we speak. There we go. So that second story is done, and it looks pretty sharp. Yeah. A lot of character in this downtown area. I would like to put in some more trees, but I don't think I'm going to. Again, it just takes up extra resource. All right. So that second story is done. Good ages for the families, though. They're 18 and 20, so that's, that's pretty good. Uh, making carbon tools, and we're keeping up with that. So we've got room for a couple of more homes that can be uh, unlocked, but I'm going to wait for these multi-story first, multi-story first floors to build, um, because that will uh, that will definitely let me know where I stand as far as that goes. So steel tools, copper tools, all that good stuff. This trading post is closed. I don't even know why I'm looking at it. Uh, let's buy more coal while we're here, because uh, I didn't send him away. And, uh, yeah, we'll go 20, no, we need to go 28, 26, something like that. Yeah. 28, 
28. There we go. Right on. And we dismiss them this time. So we've got a, uh, some coal coming in. There's my... Yeah, there's the tunnel that's being worked on. And there's that uh, fodder farmer florist area. So this house is done. Again, 19 and 20. Very good. And we're right on par with the family. So I pause these off. I mean, it's looking pretty sharp. Uh, so listen, if you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see here in R. Thompson's Hollow, put them in the comments below, because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Wednesday for another episode of Burners. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above. Or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.